Hi, in this video I will talk about how to prepare for economics portion of the MSQ entrance for engineering or non-economics background students. Now for you, I have to give you a basic background that there are three main areas of economics. You have microeconomics, macroeconomics and international economics or trade models. This is just relevant for our MSQE entrance preparation. Now when we are thinking about these three things, you need to first strategize your preparation because you do not have much knowledge about economics. So what you need to do is you have to find out the easy ways. The things which does not require a lot of your investment of time but it will give you maximum returns and it will be easy to understand as well. So which are those uh, topics? So the easy wins as I say them are first your first 19 chapters of Varian and yes you do not have to read all the 19 chapters of Varian. I have made a separate video on which are the relevant chapters. I mean I have made that video for the full book but you can refer to the uh, relevant chapters in the first 19 chapters right. So you can check that video out from here and I'll also attach the video link in the description box so you don't need to click right now just watch the video now understand the process then you can click on the individual links. Now once you complete the 19 chapters of Varian you can now jump on to the next thing. What will be the next thing? The next thing will be to understand your macroeconomics. Now how to read macroeconomics? For macroeconomics, there is no standard book like a variant. But yes, what you can do is you can refer Mankiv or any macroeconomics book which you have. In Mankiv also or in any macroeconomics book, what you need to study is GDP or national income accounting questions. And then you have to read a bit on growth models, Solo Swan and all those stuff. And then you have to read ISLM curve. These three are the things in macroeconomics which will be easy win and it will be something which will give you a lot of scoring opportunity. So these are the two things in the easy win category. The first 19 selected first 19 chapters of Varian and you can check the chapter names from the link in the description box and then second is your macroeconomics from any macro book and in the macroeconomics book what you have to read is GDP and national income accounting. The second would be your growth models like Solo Swan and the third will be your ISLM curve and numericals on ISLM. Now this is the easy win part. What about the next stage? The next stage is previous year question papers. So uh, till 2018 there were two parts. The first part was mathematics, second part was economics. So PEA was maths and PEB was economics. So when you look at the question papers from uh, maybe 2004 and onwards, 2004 to 2018. Till that year you will get the uh, segmentation like PEA is maths and statistics and PEB is economics. So go through the PEB part till 2018. But after 2018 what they did was they changed the PEB pattern. So now PEB has both mathematics and economics. So essentially what they have done is they have made PEA as kind of your objective and PEB as kind of a subjective. So that is what they have done. So uh, you have to find out all the questions which you can identify which are from economics in the question paper. Now when you solve those questions you will have a lot of doubts and there will be questions which you will find easy. So that will give you a basic understanding that what all you need to know, what all you need to study. So this will be your second stage. Now the third stage will be the consolidation stage. In the consolidation stage what you need to do is you need to finish off all the chapters of Varian. Now which are the chapters in Varian to read? Again you can go to that same link which you were referring for the first selected 19 chapters or rather the selected chapters in the first 19 chapters and cover the rest of the chapters which are relevant for MSQ preparation. In that video itself I have covered all the chapters which are relevant. Now once you do the Varian part then you can go to your other parts of macroeconomics. Now, what are the other parts of macroeconomics? You can easily check in the syllabus of MSQE question papers. So uh, other parts are quite scattered. So I don't want to name them one by one because those have like very uh, limited weightage uh, on an individual basis. But combining all of them, you will have some relevant kind of a weightage. So go to the syllabus on website and you will find all those topics. Now the thing over here is, let me just uh, remind you that while you're doing Varian, you have to have a particular strategy that 
read the chapter like a story book first then try to solve the end of the chapter questions and then try to read the chapter again so that your concepts are kind of reinforced and then go and solve the variant workbook now this will be the complete package of variant study so this is what i wanted to emphasize on that you have to be very thorough with variant because variant is a, a kind of a very easy win for a lot of engineers and non-economics background student if you cover variant very thoroughly and variant essentially is like a proxy for microeconomics the microeconomics portion of msq preparation is perhaps the easier part than your macroeconomics so definitely you have to give a lot of focus on variant and while you're reading variant chapters as a storybook you can also look at my playlist which i have created for variant chapters now i have added just two chapters as of now but i am in the process of finishing all the other chapters as well so i will upload one by one whenever i make a video on a relevant chapter so i have covered first chapter and part of the second chapter and then uh, there is a last part which is left uh, that is called your international economics or trade models now in international economics or trade models what you need to do is first there is an easy part and then there's a kind of a difficult part the easy part of international economics or trade models is trying to understand what is comparative advantage and what is absolute advantage now once you cross this hurdle you will get into a lot of models and all those models are actually not covered in very detailed way in isi msq question papers but still if you do not know those models you might miss out on one or two questions so if you have to consolidate your preparation and go the extra mile cover those trade models or international economics models as well so that is all uh, you need to do the easy wins the previous question papers and the consolidation phase now when you are doing this again i'll emphasize that just have two books one for microeconomics which is your variant and uh, we, you can also get a variant workbook and then you have to have a macroeconomics book so net net uh, you have basically three books variant textbook variant workbook and a macroeconomics book now the thing with macroeconomics is that you need to be kind of like prepared to read a lot of stuff there is no structured preparation available for macroeconomics so i have made a separate video on uh, what not to do and what actually to do for macroeconomics preparation you can check it out from here over here